Hello. Thank you for finding me on Google or the search bar or Twitter. This is the music widget that you've been searching for. You don't have to keep searching anymore. This is the best music widget I have ever seen. And I say that as someone that charges money for my own widget, which I put up on Patreon. The widget shows the name of the song that you're listening to with the cover art, a little progress bar, even a little music visualizer. It's super customizable, super clean. It's way better than the one that I made. And best of all, it's free. Oh yeah, and the widget supports Spotify and YouTube music. If you don't use any of those platforms, uh, you can go click another video, I'm so sorry. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to VIP SCD keys and get 30% off a Windows 11 Pro license. I'm not finished talking, okay, let me finish. You can get a Windows 11 Pro key for as little as $21. They got a Christmas sale going on right now. Just use code NUTTY at checkout to get 30% off. If you wanna save a little bit more money, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15 and those keys can be upgraded to Windows 11 completely for free. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, they'll send you an activation code. You can slap that into your Windows settings and then you're good to go. Check out VIP SCD keys in the link down below and thank you for sponsoring this video. Again, like always. Okay, so to get this widget, click in the link down below and click on where it says add a muse and you're gonna have to log in with your Twitch or your Google account. I'll use Twitch. Now, before you start using the widget, you're gonna have to connect your Spotify or your YouTube music account. And both of the setup processes are completely different. So if you use Spotify, then keep watching. If you use YouTube music, then just skip to this timestamp. We'll start with Spotify. So click on accounts and apps and under Spotify, it's gonna ask you for a client ID and a client secret. If you click on this blue button here, it will take you to a page of text instructions and you just have to follow them. You only have to do this once. So after you do it once, you never have to worry about it again. You could just read it. But I, I need this video to be longer so I can put like mineral ads. So I'm gonna like show you how to do it right now. So go to your Spotify developer dashboard and then log in with your Spotify account. When you get to your dashboard here, click on where it says create app. And then we just have to create an app. It can be literally anything. I'm just gonna name this, um, holy sh, what are these? <laughs> I apologize for these. <laughs> okay, ignore that, uh, we're gonna call this, um, uh, a muse. Description can be anything you want. You can just be Lamal. Uh, important thing is the redirect URI. So paste this in right here. Make sure it says that and then click I understand and then save. After that, you're gonna have to grab your uh, client and secret ID. So go click on settings and the client ID here, whatever it says here, copy this and uh, paste that, well, I, I have it linked, I have to unlink it. Paste it right here. And then to get your client secret, click on view client secret. I really wasn't supposed to show that on video. Uh, copy this <laughs> and then paste that into your client secret here. Click connect and then it should turn green after you press agree. And then uh, you're done with Spotify. Uh, you only have to do that once, so you'll never have to do that again after this. Now the process for YouTube Music is pretty different because you can't actually be using YouTube Music from a Chrome tab. You actually have to download a third-party program. Now that third-party program looks exactly the same as YouTube Music, but it has some extra features that we need for this widget to connect to. So to get the app, go over to uh, where it says YouTube Music and click on installation and download the YouTube Music desktop app for whatever platform you're on, which is for me, Windows. This is what the app looks like. Like I said, it's exactly the same as YouTube Music, but it has some extra features. So if you click on the cog up here, go into integrations and make sure you turn the remote control on. This is super important because this is what the widget connects to, to know what song you're listening to. You'll know you did it right if you go back into your dashboard, it should say connected next to YouTube Music. So that's the boring stuff out of the way. Now we can start adding the widgets. So click on widgets and go into amuse and just pick whichever service you use i use youtube music so i'll leave it on that then we can add the widget to obs by just clicking copy url and then now we go into obs we can add a browser source 
and just paste the widget in here. Now you can, the cool thing is you can set the width and the height of the widget as high as you want and it will scale. So if you need like a really high quality version of the widget, you can increase the uh, resolution here, but I'll leave it at 800 by 600, press okay. And then the widget should just appear just like that. Look how nice it looks. I'll go ahead and start playing some music now and I'm gonna put on my uh, K-pop playlist because I'm like hip and cool and I like can like relate to all the kids and stuff. Uh, so when I start playing music, it should automatically just up here in the overlay. How cool is that? It's so clean. But that's pretty much it. You could stop watching right now, but there's a whole load of customization options you can check out that uh, I'm gonna go through to increase the watch time of this video because it's literally Christmas and I'm at home filming software tutorials in the internet. So I need you guys to spend time with me, okay? So uh, you can check out the different themes. They've got compact, they've got boxy, which is more narrow. They got like this gallery theme. They have a Mac OS theme and a shell theme, which is cool for like programmer people, I guess. There is a Discord theme, which has a lock button and you might be thinking, oh my God, he's asking for money now. It's all that he asks is that you join his Discord server and then you'll get this theme here. So he's not charging money for anything, but if you did want to support the developer, there is a link down below where you can join his Patreon or donate directly, uh, which would be tops because he deserves money. His name is Max, by the way, you can go give Max money, but I'm going to leave mine on compound. This is my favorite theme. Uh, you can also change the cover art appearance so you can make it uh, vinyl and it will start spinning in like a vinyl record. Or you can just get rid of the cover art altogether if you wanted to. Um, and then you could pick square, which is just a static cover art. The canvas option is cool because it, it does like the animated cover art if the song supports it. So I like this one the best because it's, uh, it's more visual and uh, visually appealing. You can add a glow around the cover art or you can remove it entirely if you want. I like keeping it on. You can also customize the colors. So if you turn off magic colors, it will change the color of the little accent piece. For, so like the progress bar or the little visualizer, you can change the color of that. I like to leave it on magic color where it does like the whole Google thing where it determines the color or the accent color based on the color of the uh, of the cover art, which I think is a really cool effect. So I like leaving that on. They also have visibility options. So this is something that I personally requested. Basically, if you don't want the widget on screen at all times, so like let's say you pause your music, you can set it to automatically disappear from your overlay. So if we turn on hide on pause, uh, and then set the delay to zero. By the way, how cool is it that you could just like update this stuff here and you don't have to refresh anything. It just like updates it in the browser source in OBS. Anyway, you turn on hide on pause and then if I pause the music now, the widget just hides on its own. And then if I wanna bring it back up, I just play my music again and then the song comes up. How cool is that? You can also set the widget to appear only during song changes. So if I turn off hide on pause and turn on song change only, it will show every time the song changes for five seconds and then disappear by itself. So if I go into YouTube music now and then change the song, the widget should appear. And then after five seconds, it should disappear on its own just like that. So I like leaving that option on because it's a nice way to keep my overlay clean, but it still delivers the information that we need. But I'll turn it off so that you guys can actually see the widget while we're looking at it. The final option is cover blur. Now I like this one a lot. It basically sets the background of the widget to be like a blurred version of the cover art, which is a really cool effect. I love doing that. Uh, and then also you can hide the visualizer if you don't like it. The visualizer is really cosmetic. It doesn't really react to the music. So if you don't like that, you can just turn the visual, uh, you can turn it off entirely. But uh, I like leaving it on because I think it looks nice. But the final option, which I was leaving until last is the ability to create profiles. If you scroll to the top, this is where you see your profile. So if you have different layouts that you want to use for different scenes in OBS, like let's say you want to use the gallery setting for your uh, BRB screen, but you want something more minimal, like the boxy layout for your gameplay scene. That's what you'd use profiles for. So if you look at uh, my other desktop scene, I have a layout here 
that's uh, pretty minimal. It doesn't show the uh, the cover art at all. But then when I switch to my just chatting scene, you can see here now it does show the cover art. So this one's pretty straightforward. You just go in and you just add your different profiles and customize them the same way. Um, and then it will give you a different browser source URL for each of them. So you just create a new profile here and then copy the URL and then add that again in OBS. So you'll have two browser sources in OBS. But that's pretty much it. Now, I, I still want to pad out the video. So let me give you a couple more ideas because this widget is just a browser source in OBS. So we can modify the appearance even further if we just use regular filters. So if I right click on the browser source and add a filter, we can add maybe, uh, let's add a color correction filter. And then let's say we want to make it semi-transparent. We can just turn down the opacity, uh, which I think looks pretty nice. And uh, maybe if we want, if we think the colors are too bright, we can turn the saturation down a little bit to make the colors a little bit more muted. Play around with it, see what looks nice for you. But uh, I, I think this looks nice. So that's this is what I do with my stream, but that's just a tip. Um, and again, if you're using the profiles system, you could have uh, different filters for each of your different browser sources too. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know how you like this widget over here. And uh, again, check out the Patreon for uh, Max down below and give him some money. You can check out my Patreon too. Uh, just don't use my Spotify widget because it's bad. You just use Max's one, okay? But I'll have more widgets out for you guys to download very soon. So check those out. Uh, also join the Discord for uh, cool stuff, I guess, uh, if you need help with your streams. And also um, go follow me on Twitch because we do this kind of stuff all the time. And if you were watching me on Twitch, we talked about this widget like a month ago. So you would have got this information um, like way sooner. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, goodbye now. And oh yeah, happy new year and stuff. Eh, okay, thank you guys. See you later.